Right, the original Altair had a linear power supply in it. You can see one here. Uh, and they actually seem to have used a separate transformer for each power supply rail. So there's this big one here. Presumably that was for the 8 volt. There's a sort of medium sized one here. Presumably that was for the uh, plus 16 and a smaller one behind it which must have been for the minus 16 um, and there's a ton of capacitors here to try and sort of smooth out the supply and also there's, uh, there's, a, there's a rectifier in the, the background here uh, we might see some more I think here I think this is where the other rectifier diodes are I'm not too sure how original this machine is but uh, there you go um, the, 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 the trouble, one of, one of the problems with the power supply, obviously it, it's going to be quite heavy with all these <laughs> bloody great transformers all over the place and it, it's completely unregulated uh, that, that's why uh, there's regulators and Zener diodes on all of the cards and another um, sort of feature of this is that if you when you rectify um, an AC voltage it actually um, when it's unloaded it comes out to about 1.4 times that voltage after you rectified it when it turns into DC so you know this this voltage boosts up quite a bit you know if we took an example here if I uh, multiplied 16 by 1.4 see we've got about 22 volt there so obviously <laughs> In this particular case, a 16 volt transformer probably wouldn't be the best choice, but you you can see you can see that um, clearly we're getting a lot more voltage than we need. Um, a, a standard regulator only needs about a three volt drop across it to work properly, and it's it's all that excess voltage over the the three volt plus what you need. It, it's going to just dissipate in heat. Uh, so that's uh, one of the problems here. Um, you, you'd never see a, a linear power supply in a modern PC. Uh, they're, they're all switch mode now. Um, th this is why I've uh, decided to, to go the same route with my one. So I'm, gonna, I'm, I'm not going to uh, recreate this linear power supply here. <laughs> it's just too much effort really and it, it's pointless in this, this day and age. I, mean, I can even remember when I uh, did the final um, version of my NASCOM 2 back in oh, I don't know, sort of mid 1980s. I used a switch mode power supply in that, so it, in switch mode power supplies are nothing new. <laughs> so right, we'll uh, we'll go back to the bench now, and I'll I'll show you what I've chosen for my one. Right, these are the power supplies I've gone with. Uh, the one on the bottom is a seven and a half volt, thirteen and a half amp. Uh, we're going to use that for the 8 volt supply. Uh, the next one up is a 15 volt 2.8 amp, and we're going to use that for the plus 16. And the top one is a uh, 15 volt 1.7 amp, and we're going to use that for the negative 16. Uh, I'll just turn it round. Let's get it round there. Why is that white? Right, you should be able to see it. Um, I've wired the um, the mains is, is literally just looped from one supplier to the other. So we've got all the lives looped together, and we've got all the neutrals looped together as well, and we've got the earths looped together as well. Um, <coughs> very critical to to make sure you earth these. So don't <laughs> don't go leaving the earth wire off. Um, I'm not sure how these are particularly wired, but you know most of these sort of supplies will have a power factor correction and filtering in them, and potentially you know some low currents might flow back down to ground. So uh, don't want, you know you don't want to uh, have all these metal casings becoming live. Um, if, if you're con obviously if you're concerned about these these bare um, connections here while you're testing, um, either sort of pop this in a box or something or put cover it up. Um, I'm quite used to working on live equipment so that, that doesn't really bother me but obviously bear in mind that you know <laughs> you've got 230 volt on these brown wires here and you don't really want to come into contact with that. Right um, so the bottom there the all the power supplies are adjustable see these little orange uh, presets here there's one on each of them uh, that allows us to to turn up the nominal voltage. 
So even though this bottom one seven and a half volt, we can actually, if you really wanted to, we could wind up to eight and a half volt. But um, obviously we've set it to eight volt here, and the same with the two fifteens, we can wind those up to sixteen, so that gives us our uh, our power rails. Um, the wiring on the DC side and uh, the blacks are the are the grounds. Um, black just goes to to negative on the plus five. Um, <laughs> sorry plus eight and uh, negative on the um, plus 16 supply uh, but obviously on the top one uh, we're using this as a negative supply so in fact the the ground wire goes to the positive terminal and the, the it's uh, the negative um, looks like it's coming out of the minus well, it obviously is isn't it um, so the bright red ones the plus eight the bright orange that's the plus 16 and the yellow is the minus 16 so I say, just say just note that you know these look like they're around the wrong way because it's a negative supply we've got ground on V pos and a yellow one minus V there right so that's the that's the setup um, Unfortunately, <laughs> there there is a slight problem with this. Uh, what I'll do, I'll demonstrate it. If keep an eye on these, oh, there's a green LED on each of the supplies. I'll I'll turn the light off just so you can see it a little bit easier. And watch what happens when I turn it on. All right, ready? All right, here we go. Watch carefully. All right, there we go. <coughs> now, hope hopefully. <laughs> What you noted there was that the, the green LEDs came on in sequence. Uh, the bottom one came on first, followed by the middle one, followed by the top one. And obviously, the, the fact that you can actually see that delay, it means you know, they're, you know they're they're seriously not in sync here. So you know, ideally, your power rails all need to come up together. Otherwise, you're going to have you're going to have problems basically. Um, <laughs> what I uh, what I had hoped was to get a, a combined um, supply for the plus or minus 15. Fortunately, I, I couldn't, you know, in the time that I had to, to get hold of them. So I may still change that. But to, to cure the, you know, the problem we've got here, what I've done is I've used a relay, and you know, this is this is the circuit. Just get it in shot here. So what I've done is that the 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 slowest supply is the negative 16 volt. So what I've done, I've put negative 16 volts coming in here through a 7912 regulator, which um, gets it the voltage down to minus 12 volt, and then that feeds the relay coil here. I've also added a diode here to stop any kickbacks from the coil kicking back into the regulator and potentially doing it any damage. Um, so what happens is when when the 16 volt finally decides to come up um, it energizes the relay coil and shuts these three switches here in the relay and that feeds off to the um, the back plane uh, so in, in that way when you power up everything comes up in sequence so you know, that, that sort of solves the problem and that that clicky noise that you heard when I switched it on was, was the relay pulling in uh, I should have said because this is actually a 12 volt, 12 volt relay that's why I've uh, dropped the um, negative 16 down to 12 volt so I'll, I'll do it again just have a listen for the click and you'll hear it come in right here we go right hear that click so that was the relay coming in. Uh, that's just, that's the, this little chap here, and this is only really a temporary setup. But the um, regulators here, I've just hot glued it on the top, just 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 to, just to stop it rattling around all over the bench. And I th I'm not sure if you can. Oh, there you go. Um, just try and uncover it a bit. But if you look closely there. Uh, that's the diode. Um, that that just just, just protects the uh, the regulator. Uh, the other thing to note as well, if we go back to the picture. Um, just just note the uh, direction of the the diode here. 
you know, the banded end needs to be going down down here otherwise it will it will conduct and yeah, yeah that <laughs> good bad things will happen uh, and of course it won't do its job right so that's that one um, so that that's about it for the supply um, I have just if you look on the side here oh, just for uh, sort of safety reasons I've, I've cable tied the cable to the side of the case just in case it uh, it gets yanked off so there you go that's the power supply set up so that's that's all done and I shall uh, see you next time